Wow, we've got some fun music today, Valerie. Okay, let's step from side to side and just let your hands do what they will. If they want to stay on your waist, that's fine. If not, just let them move from side to side. There you go, a little dance go here. Just side to side, very relaxed. Get the circulation going. There are other people too, Jane, who are supplementing the program with either bowling or cycling, such as yourself, or home gyms. We've got Judy, Marilyn, Cindy, Barbara. Gosh, just a whole list of people. I think that's great. And Faye is wondering um, how she can work out on a rebounder and whether or not she should be doing some exercises on a rebounder. Rebounders are excellent, and yes, you should wear footwear on a rebounder, but be very careful because around the edge of the rebounder, there's a bit of an inseam, and your foot may get caught on that. That happened to me once, and I went for a spill, tore ligaments, so please do be careful, but rebounders are great because they absorb a lot of the shock. Okay, let's count down to arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and one, I want you side to side. Come on, just reach. Shoulder height. Come on, move those hips, ladies. I know you can. Gentlemen, too. Come on. Side to side. There you go. And let the arms relax. Count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center feet together and roll through your feet. Okay, now be careful when you push back that you don't hyperextend your knees. Okay, don't push too far back. Careful, pay attention here. See what I mean? You roll through the foot, but don't push your knee back too far. Don't lock it. There you go. Roll through your feet. Up and up and over. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Walk your feet out. Roll out those ankles. Okay, now I want you to lunge to the right, bending your right knee, making sure it's coming out over your toe, and then turn your toe and lunge the other way. Okay? Come on back up. Same thing to the other side. Both toes facing the same direction. Lunge to the front. Nice stretch in through the groin area. And then I want you to turn that knee, turn the toe, and lunge forward. Okay? There you go. And then come back. And let's try it again once more each side. Lunge. Turn the toe and lunge out to the side. Okay, come on back. Both toes face in the same direction, other side. There you go. Hold it. And then turn the toe out and lunge. There you go. Turn it back in. And let's walk our feet in together. And like we always do, let's reach up and stretch out those sides so we don't get any cramping during the cardiovascular section. Reach to those fingertips. Reach right and left. And right and left. Feel a nice stretch. Count down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Arms come down by your sides. Hands on your waist. Here we go. Okay, this is what I want you to do instead of march today. I just want you stepping forward with your feet. Always landing on your flat feet, though. There you go. Come on. Do what you can. There you go. Just very relaxed through the shoulders. Aw, come on. There you go. If you like sing along, this is happy music if ever I heard it. Let's incorporate arms now. Work your elbows right back. Bring those shoulders up. Stepping forward. There you go. Same thing as in March. It's working on gradually elevating our heart rate, increasing that circulation throughout our bodies. There you go. Countdown now. We're going to start a cardiovascular section. Let's count. Let's count in German. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, seven, acht, neun, and same and jog. Now, I hope that there aren't any German people out there who are laughing at me. I'm just trying. My Japanese is better. My German, she's not so good yet. Work it forward. There you go. Just jogging, very relaxed. Take care on how you're landing. Hey, hey, use your arms. Work it forward and back. There you go. Aw, oh, come on. Fun music. Remember how you used to dance to this stuff? Uh-huh. I'll bet your knees were like this, more like this. Let's try that then. Come on, you got yourselves into that one. Work it forward. Variations. Like so, same thing for the beginner level. They do long impact or bring them up. Big deep breaths. Good for you. Count down to arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing your arms. Still step. There you go. Do what you can. Count down with me to change. Five, four, three, two, one. I want you to kick back. Lean forward, hands on your waist. Okay, kick straight back. Make sure that you're landing. How? You know. Never like this. Always like that. You've got it. Work yourselves around the room. Working the fronts of our legs and the backs of our legs. Kick straight. You've got it now. Beginners are doing their own level. Working the same muscle groups. Come on. Do what you can. Again, a lot of variations. Little step backs. Or make it larger. Good. Count on arms now. You ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Reaching forward. Up to shoulder height. Use those arms. Really reach. It's a big difference between doing this and doing this. Reach with those arms. Extend those fingertips. You've got it. Do what you can. If you feel that you're getting a little too tired, try the beginner level. And if that's too much, do a light jog, a light march around the room. But please stay tuned so I can cool you down so you're not going to get stiff tomorrow. Come on, do what you can. Bring those heels up. There we go. Come on. Reach and reach. There you go. No problems. The main thing is that you're trying. Work at your own level. A lot of variations here. You choose whichever level best suits you. To count down to change. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees up. Just up to waist level. Use your hands as a guideline. Good. Beginners are stepping and bringing their knees up. Work it forward and back. Take care in how you're landing. Watch those backs too. Concentrate. Come on. There you go. Bring right up. Let's count down to arms. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Use your arms. Okay, here we go. Use those arms. Come on. Watch your backs, squat backs, don't lean into it. Don't lean back. Pump up those arms. Come on. Reach at those arms, use them. There you go. Remember this tune, come on. We're gonna have some fun. If you allow yourselves, let's go around our imaginary track. Away we go. And back up, come on. Home stretch. There you go. Find yourselves a spot. Knees up. Good for you. Again, variations. Whatever you can do. Use those arms. Okay, now let's just reach with our arms. Because though there's a rope that we're pulling ourselves along. Come on. Reach, pull. Come on. Count down. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side to side kicks. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Do what you can. Arms at the side. Push those palms down to alleviate any stress to the neck. Some people call this a ladies' run. I tend to disagree. There we go. It's more like a penguin to me. Come on. Do what you can. Side to side. Come on, move those hips. Waists too. Come on. Let's go a little bit longer here. That was a good tune. Not ready to quit yet. Come on. Okay, now this will be our last song. I promise you that. We're into our last few minutes. Let's go around our track.
No giggling allowed. I admit we all must look a little silly. Come on. Find yourselves a spot. Incorporate arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Out. Well, if we're gonna look half silly, we may as well look totally silly. Elbows out to shoulder height. Crossing right over left, left over right. You've got it. No problems, do what you can, variations. Okay? We'll make it big. Come on, don't hold back on me. Count down to change. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Come on. Reach those arms. Work around the room. Come on. Snap those fingers. Do it again. Up, up, ba da 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 Come on. There you go. Variations. Make it larger. Black backs. Relax those legs. Shoulders, too. Very relaxed. Don't worry, this isn't a never-ending song and dance. Countdown. Ready? Uh-huh, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very important to keep moving. You know how the story goes. Find your pulse rate either in your wrist or more accurately in your neck. And are you ready to count for ten seconds? Now, beginning now. Okay, stop counting, keep moving. Here's our heart rate target zone chart. You know how it works. You find the number that you just counted along the side of our chart and your age along the bottom. For example, if you're 50 years old, you should be counting somewhere between 20 and 25 beats per 10 seconds. That's a safe area to be working within. If you're a little low and a beginner, that's natural. You'll work up. Keep track, and yes, we are off to a commercial break, but no rest for the wicked. If you like, you can do this exercise during the commercial break. I'll see you right back for SOS. We're going to concentrate on the inner and outer thigh. Alternate the legs, too. Once more each side. There we go. Come on down. Let's concentrate on working our inner and outer hips and thighs. Beginners can take their runners off. Intermediate people, however, cannot. Lie down and then take the shape of the floor. Come on up. And I want you to point your toes down. Bring your heels up and down. Okay. Now you remember that half of the exercise is taking the heel up. The other half is controlling it as your leg wants to come down. Okay. And by pointing your toe in this fashion, we're working our outside thigh area. Okay. And remember, take the shape of the floor, and that way you're working your waistline and your intercostal muscles as well. Okay? But if you like, you can slouch down into it. That's okay. And everyone should be leaning a little bit forward, because that takes pressure off the lower back. The exercise that the beginners are doing takes every ounce of precaution against lower back problems. Okay? So if you've got lower back problems, please do the beginning up. Up and down. Control it. Do you feel that? You start to feel that? Through here? Okay. That's okay. Don't worry. We'll stretch you out. It means your muscles are working. That's what we want. Count down to change. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point your toe up and go up with the leg, working our inner thigh and our quadricep area, the fronts of our leg. Charlie Chaplin style. There you go. Little movements. Control them. Here on the program, I try to give you all three components of a well-balanced fitness program. I try to do flexibility work, strengthening work, which is what we're doing now, and very important cardiovascular work. And all of the movements are very, very safe, okay? I don't do fancy, snazzy things, only because I can't. <laughs> no, but some of them aren't safe. And technically, you have to be very accurate when you're doing exercises, otherwise you can develop a lot of problems. So keep them very basic, okay? It would be different if you were here with me physically, then I could position you so that you'd be in the exact position for the exercise. But since that's not possible, I'm just going to take it easy and just do safe movements. 
When am I going to count down? You're wondering. You're starting to feel that, are you? Okay, let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, just with the toe forward, let's go up and down. So what we've done is we've worked our way all around the leg. We've worked the front, the side, and the inner thigh as well. Just bring it up and down. Don't let your foot rest. No siree. That's the beginner's job. And because we have runners on, there's a little bit of extra weight on our feet, so we're working a little bit harder. And again, let's concentrate on taking the shape of the floor. Sometimes you forget, you tend to get comfortable. I know I do, too. So let's focus on that. Yeah, that's got it. Keep going. Count down to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side. Round we go. You position yourself. Take the shape of the floor. You come up. Point the toe down. Heel comes up. There you go. Just do what you can. If you'd like to do the beginner level, by all means, join in with them. The main thing is that you're trying, that you're not sitting there eating all brown. Right, John? Okay, we got a letter from John saying that he sat and watched the program for weeks during his breakfast time. And then one day he got up and tried the program. And now he's a regular exerciser. He thought it was late stuff. Well, we sure showed him. That's great. Keep going up and down. Control it. Feel that all on the side of your leg here. Put your hand there. Feel the muscle working. And up and through the hip area. Good. Count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now point the toe up. There you go. Work the quadriceps. There you go. We'll count down in Japanese this time. My German, I'm still working on it for you. Up and down, up and down. Also, if you have other languages that you'd like me to count down in, if you could write them in to me, I'd appreciate it. And if you can write them up phonetically, how they sound, not how they are actually spelled, we'll see what I can't do about counting down in your favorite language. Up and down. And also, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. And I really like to hear how you're doing, how you're improving. That gives me my inspiration. Keep going. Count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Feel it. I know I do too. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Toe forward and up and down. Little movements. Flex that foot. Let's flex both of our feet just to stretch them out. Okay. Feel a nice stretch. Control that. Your leg doesn't rest. That's the beginner's job. Remember, let's concentrate on taking the shape of that floor, working the size of our bodies, our obliques and waistlines. Keep going. I know I can feel it too. We gotta keep going. Push through this together. Japanese, here we go. Each, ni, san, shi, go, ro, chich, hach, ku, and ju. You slide your feet out as you roll up. And now I want you to sit with your feet straddled, legs straddled. I want you to point your toes as you reach to the left side. Just reach out at shoulder height, that's fine. If you can come down, that's great. But not all of us are that flexible, so just reach at shoulder height. Feel a nice stretch in through the backs of your legs and through the side of your body as well. So reach straight on, and then I want you to turn the side, and then reach straight on, and then last time turn. Okay, drop your hands, and let's roll up that side. Same thing to the other side now, still point those feet, just, just stretch, and again, if you can come down to here, that's fine. Stretch, and turn to the side, feel a nice stretch, and reach again. This is the flexibility part of our program. Let's stretch. And relax. And roll up. Now I want you to come to the center and lean forward as far as is comfortable for you. I want you to flex your feet to stretch out the backs of your legs. And I want you to pretend you have a, a big 
big ladle. But you're stirring with, and I just want you to do this, okay? And just reach as far forward as is comfortable for you, okay? Now, for some people, they can come right down, like so, okay? That's fine if you can get your chest right down. If not, you just stay right up at this level here. That's fine, okay? You'll notice that your flexibility will improve with time. Relax those muscles. Your muscles shouldn't be shaking like that. If they are, you're extending too far. Sit up a little taller and do it. And let's circle the other way. Okay, you reach to those fingertips now. Good for you. Little rotations. Okay, and then come back to the center. And I want you to bring your legs in. Cross your right leg over your left. Reach out at shoulder height again. If you can go lower, go lower. Shoulder height is fine. Just stretch. When your legs are crossed like this, this takes pressure off of the lower back. So keep it in mind, people with lower back problems. Okay, roll up. And come on up. Cross the other leg over. And again, stretch out. And now what the feet goes up to you, you can point them or you can flex them. Get a better stretch if you flex them. Drop your hands. Roll up. Okay, and let's just roll right back. Right down you go, inch by inch. Right down that spine. And walk your feet in, heels to your bum. And bring your knees right up to your chest. Feel a nice stretch in through the fronts of your legs. I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to keep stretching. If you'd like to stay with me, you take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.